despite significant challenges from the West, India has managed to maintain its balancing act with the abstention and the vote affects New Delhi's diplomatic ties with the West and Moscow. The Biden administration went to great lengths to persuade India to join 141 other nations in condemning Russia's invasion on Ukraine. India's decision to abstain from voting on the resolution opposing Russia's invasion of Ukraine at the United Nations Security Council and General Assembly has been met with disappointment by Republicans and Democrats in the United States. The United States imposed a flurry of sanctions on Russia this week that are among the most punitive the country has ever faced, but many believe the delayed agony may not be enough to deter President Vladimir Putin from expanding his invasion of Ukraine. Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asia Donald Liu said, the US has been relentlessly engaged with India on Ukraine, it has tried at the highest levels in a pitch battle to persuade New Delhi to take a clear stand against Russia's aggression and it has flagged the Russia-China nexus at a time when China has continued to engage in provocative actions toward India. In an attempt to align India's position with the rest of the world and it has flagged the Russia-China nexus. According to U.S. Ambassador Donald Liu, the Biden administration is considering whether to impose or relax sanctions on India in exchange for its acquisition of Russia's S-400 Triumph missile defense system. He also stated that India is likely to be concerned in the next months and years about its defense transactions with Russia, which would be harmed by the escalating sanctions. Russia is unlikely to be able to make new sales or provide maintenance to existing clients. The Senate committee questioned Liu if the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act would apply to India's acquisition of Russia's S-400 missile defense system. Liu said, the Biden administration has yet to determine whether to sanction India under Kartsa. Liu said, India has cancelled orders for MiG-29 fighter jets, helicopters and anti-tank weapons from Russia in the last few weeks. India's defense ministry has not responded to the claim as yet. He believes that the death of an Indian student in Ukraine is shifting public opinion away from Russia and he expects that the severe sanctions imposed on Russia would force India to diversify its defense alliances even more. India has taken a neutral stance during the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. While the majority of countries support Ukraine, a few, including as India, have taken a neutral stance, neither supporting nor opposing any country. At this point in time, neutrality implies that you are backing Russia. Unlike China, India has not overtly expressed support for Russia, but there are reasons why it will do so in the future, particularly when a nation like Ukraine is involved. Ukraine's relationship with India used to be far less bright than it is now. India is not willing to lose its all-weather friend, Russia, in the Ukraine issue. Following India's successful nuclear tests, which astounded the world, Ukraine was one of the countries that vigorously opposed India's nuclear testing in 1998 and criticized India's actions at the United Nations Security Council in the aftermath of the test. More than 30 nations, including Ukraine, have spoken out against India's tests, expressing deep worry about the country's nuclear tests. As a result, India was sanctioned by the United Nations Security Council in Resolution 1172. India was also asked to stop its research activities on ballistic missiles capable of carrying nuclear weapons. In terms of armaments and arsenals, India is reliant on Russia. Similarly, Pakistan was reliant on Ukraine for a long period. For decades, Kyiv and Islamabad traded because Pakistan was Ukraine's largest consumer. Islamabad has received weapons worth $1.6 billion from Kyiv. T-80 tanks are made in Ukraine and are used in Pakistan. Both countries even signed a bilateral agreement in 2017 to trade an improved variant of T-80 main battle tanks. Despite the US, Ukraine and other Western nations' previous anti-India acts, 
India stayed neutral by abstaining from voting at the UN Security Council and appealing to Russia and other countries for peace.